My name is Terry Walsh and I'm the Executive Director of Employee and Community Relations with the City of Kennewick. I've been with the city for about 29 years now and um, had the good fortune to work for some wonderful people that had a lot of faith in me and confidence in me and allowed me to really grow as an individual. When I first got my position at the city, I didn't have a bachelor's degree and I pursued that while sitting in the stands watching my daughter play basketball or going to my son's wrestling matches. And then after that, I actually pursued my master's in human resources. One of my first jobs was working with displaced homemakers. And these are women who are either widowed after the death of a husband or divorced after 20 or 30 years of marriage and never had um, any education and never had the opportunity to work. And they were really lost. And so I, I ended up with this passion for women and making sure that women grew and that all women received an education. That's probably my mantra. I follow around all the, all the women that I work with and say, you've got to get a degree, you've got to get a degree. My daughter and my daughter-in-law will both tell you they got tired of hearing about it. And my daughter is a successful attorney and my daughter-in-law is a stay-at-home mom, but has her bachelor's degree so that if she ever needs it, she can use it one day. I think one of the best things a leader can do is good succession planning. And I think I've done great succession planning. I leave behind me when I retire a great leadership team who have done amazing things in this city. One of the things that we're doing right now is completing the golf course clubhouse, which will be a beautiful icon in Columbia Park. We're just finishing the first phase of the Playground of Dreams and we'll be working on the second phase. We finished the Southridge Sports and Events Complex with all those fields and that's been written up in many magazines and it's been a, a, a huge asset to tourism in the city of Kennewick. I spend a lot of my time mentoring in the workforce. Um, that's really a goal of mine is to work with even my coworkers when they say, no, I can't go back and get a degree. I say, why? One class at a time. It takes one class at a time. No matter whether you're raising a family or whether you're involved in many other activities, just start working at it and chip at it. I was nominated by Emily, who is a staff member who works with me. She was not in this field at all. She didn't come from a municipal background but I knew she had the potential to be an amazing economic development manager for the city of Kennewick. And she actually stepped up to the plate. The first thing she asked me was, what should I do to improve myself? And there was another department, another area that she was interested in, which was planning. And I said, Emily, go back and get another degree in planning. She already had a bachelor's degree in communications and marketing. And she took me up on that and she just actually just graduated in December with her planning degree. So Emily can go just about any place she wants to go now. And I feel like I'm a little part of that. And if, and if I can do that with others, that's actually what I've been trying to do through my whole career. Winning this award has been a very humbling experience for me. I'm not the person who usually stands out front. So it's, it's really been nice to be recognized. Hopefully this sets an example for all the young women behind me that they too can work towards helping lead other women towards success so that they also will continue to strive towards their education and their career goals and be independent and know that they can achieve whatever they want to achieve if they continue to work on it.